now to two well-deserved winners. The Swift Institute Student Challenge presents financial solutions from the next generation of industry innovators. And this year, the competition ran to Latin America with two separate challenges running in Colombia and Mexico. The focus of the Mexican challenge was banks fostering financial inclusion by combining remittances, inflows and new technologies. While the Colombian challenge was on implementing digital banking agents through e-commerce apps. Well, we're now joined in the studio by Nancy Murphy. She is assistant director of the Swift Institute. And um, Dan Leclerc, who's the CEO of the Global Business School Network, which supports the student challenge. Uh, let's start with, with talking about this year's competition and what made it so special. This year is the first time we've gone into non-English speaking countries and that is amazing uh, because uh, of course the challenge has to be in English. So we've done uh, non-English and so these teams I'm so overly impressed is that they are, the first, they are presenting in English for the first time ever in their lives. Um, and when you see their videos, you actually, if anyone who saw them, they, they were live on Wednesday. They've, they're impeccable. I mean, um, one of the teams, one of the winning teams, I might add, are two 17-year-old girls who, you know, when we first spoke with them uh, on, on our first meeting call, were really stumbling over the English language. And then when you see what they have produced at the end of this, is really commendable. They're, very talented young woman. Okay, well, Dan, the honours fall to you to announce this year's winners, just in case you don't know who they are. <laughs> Come on, it's over to you. Well, I have the pleasure, and uh, we've had the pleasure of uh, supporting the challenge this year. And I'm going to start with Colombia. Is that okay? Go that is quite well. Uh, That's great. Fine, yeah. From Colombia, we have Team Benca with Alejandro Guerrera Iguere. And Juliana Matayana. Very good. Wonderful. Very well, good. We, should, we should have a little bit of a round of applause. Hey. <laughs> Excellent. Hello. Excellent. Hello. And from Mexico, we have Team Cafe, um, who's actually one individual, a team on her own, and that's Vanessa Margiano Zepade. Wonderful yeah, stuff. Well done. Well, <laughs> and I'm delighted to say we can speak to these guys right now. I'm going to start with you, Vanessa, in Mexico. Uh, if you could tell us about your solution, who is aimed at and, uh, and how does it help? I wanted to address uh, first, meaning the problematic of financial inclusion. I wanted to address, okay, okay how can banks can access to people who don't have an access? So in this case, I will start. I started with small communities, and I try to see the shift on um, on the community. And one thing I found out was they had convenience store as part of the local economy, and they can be used as an access for them to withdraw their remittances and for them to use a wallet and promote digitalization. OK, well, let's now go to Colombia to join Alejandra. It's good to see you. Tell us about the solution that you, you helped to develop. What was the problem that you tackled and how did you manage it? Hello, everybody, and thank you for having us here in this prestigious conference. Um, we are so grateful and proud to be the Colombian winners of the Swift Student Challenge 2022. And we developed a virtual intermediary platform named Banca after the combination of our names. And it is a place where we connect banks offering their financial products with clients. The problem we solve uh, here is give more visibility to those banks with low publicity and that uh, offer so much good things, but they are not recognized as much. And um, furthermore, we facilitate uh, the user by filtering in one place personalized offers depending on their needs. And we can meet we can give more awareness to the banks linked with us and save the waste, wasted time for our users so they uh, use when looking for those products in each bank, you know? It's an incredible achievement from all of you. If I can just jump back to Vanessa a second, where do you go from here? What do you want to do next? First, I want to finish my bachelor's degree 
I want to keep preparing myself in the aspect of public policy, political economy. I find it really interesting to be part of the development of inclusion policies. And I want to keep promoting digitalization and so on. And Juliana, in Colombia, you've overcome some pretty tough competition to win through. So what's happening next for you? Where are you going? Uh, within the university, they have been supporting us. And now, than more than ever, uh, in the university's entrepreneurship center, they will help us uh, develop the project. Um, currently, we have also asked for advice to people expert uh, and that are immersed in the financial sector. In addition, uh, we want to continue challenging uh, ourselves and taking advantage of every opportunity in which we can learn, uh, generate creative ideas and knowledge for our future as professionals. Thank you. Well, once again, congratulations to all of you. The talent of tomorrow, a wonderful way to wrap <laughs> things up here uh, for Cybos 2022. And thank you so much, guys, for joining us here. Right at the end, Nancy Murphy, the Swift Institute Assistant Director, just the one, and <laughs> Dan Leclerc, CEO of the Global Business School Networking, along with the winners, uh, Vanessa Mardueno uh, in uh, Mexico and Alejandra Guerrero uh, and Juliana Matalana in Colombia.